Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Hi, my name is Selassie Kosi Agbudo, and this is my story. Well, to begin with, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone I met here because I was given such an opportunity and a privilege to work in the studio. Uh, I remember my first day here, I came along with Elon Mendelali because they were looking for uh, they were looking for a fourth person along with Andreas to work in the studio and and that grace fell upon me to work here. I remember meeting Bra Ike who showed me around the place and well I'll say along the line when I started work it was quite difficult because yeah a newbie and you feel like you have to impress just to just to be given some sort of privilege uh, from the rest but it shouldn't be like that you should remember that you're working as a team and most importantly you are a family when you're working here in Peyton studio so when i came here in form one i was really close to brother davy because i felt like he was the only brother i, I could talk to and say other stuff too. So um, one Saturday, I was on campus and he was coming to the studio, a place I've never been before. He was like, Sarah, I'm coming, let's go. And he took me in the car, we came to the studio. I saw um, our past seniors, that was in 2019. They were shooting and doing other stuff here. Then after their shoot, he was like, I should sit down so that I'll be interviewed by one of the hosts. And I was like, oh no, I can't do that. Then from there, he was um, picking up new people in the studio. Then he was just like, I should join the team, like the production team. So he made me the producer of the production, where I was supposed to uh, make sure everything is set before um, whoever is supposed to shoot comes. Um, I was supposed to get all of them here before um, the shoot begins. I was supposed to make sure everything was set. Um, and mostly when um, we are in the dorm and we know it's time for shooting, I was supposed to come with them or call them. And here were cases whereby if I go around to look for people who are hosts of other shows and are supposed to be present here, it's either I don't find them or I find them and it's late. Maybe we are supposed to shoot um, at four. Then maybe we arrive here at 4.30. And I come to meet Bra Ike. And Bra Ike is like, Where are your people? And you are late. And we're supposed to start at 4 o'clock. And it's 4 30. I know you understand that kind of thing. So sometimes it's not like I get annoyed. Like, <laughs> I get hurt. Because it's not like I didn't do it. I, I did it, but I didn't find the people. And Bra Ike would be talking, plenty of. And say I'm you've done this, say I'm you've done this, and I'm like, like I don't know how to say it, but I just feel um, sad. Sometimes I get angry because the people that made him shout at me are right there, and he's not telling them anything, and it's me. He's saying everything to my face. So, um, my, with the help of brother David, Bra Ike, and my mom, who are very supportive of of me, they even. Uh, they even got me my own personal camera and it was fun because I I got to use it during the SRC week so I'll see being a cinematographer as well as a sound engineer has been very 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 rewarding and I will encourage other teams out there to take it up as a hobby but also as a means of earning money when you are at home and you are, and you are not doing anything. I, I also met a family here from the executive producer to the producer to the director to the makeup artist and to the crew itself and also the people I, the people I got the chance uh, to film. That is the TV presenters. Yeah, we we made so many so many memories and it's been so rewarding well to the newcomers what i'll say is enjoy this but also 
work hard work very hard because this field is a no playing ground after some time i got to understand why why i was doing that because um, i got to know that it was my job as a producer and i was supposed to do whatever he wanted me to do right and it wasn't going um, it wasn't going on well so i got to understand why he was doing that um there were cases where we come here and TBC, for example, and Vina and Kofi are making lots of mistakes that maybe they delay us. And mostly on Wednesdays, where we are supposed to wash, like girls like this, we have washing days. That's Wednesdays and Saturdays. Then Elvina and Kofi are delaying them. Jennifer and I are like, you guys should hurry up, like that kind of thing. Was, like, already when we when I went to look for them, they were late. I didn't find them. And they've come here to when they are making mistakes. Sometimes they are fooling, sometimes what they are saying, and fuck them, excuse my language, then I'm getting angry and other things. I would like to encourage each and everyone to be part of a media team anywhere, not only in maybe your school or um, you can take part in other places. Because I got to meet um, Cardinal Apia Texan and other important personalities due to my work here as a producer. So um, I'll encourage each and everyone out there not to be shy as I am. Enjoy is all right, but be determined to do your best when you come to the studio because the people you are going to work with, I'm telling you, you also have that same mentality. And once you guys have that same mentality here and you work as a team, from the team, it builds as a family and it's going to be a lovely, setting to the tv to the new tv presenters those who are going to have their own shows and and those who are going to be partnering with others as co-hosts i would like to say seize this opportunity seize it make it yours know that you are on the set and and feel happy and proud that you, you've been given an opportunity to present or to host your own show. To the two big guys I met here, my dad and my big brother, starting off with brother David, Pobi CSC and brother Ike, thank you so much and God bless you wherever you may go. You guys have paved the way for young people to develop their talents and take it to many places and we will never forget you. We will always sing your name out loud and we will always praise you for the good work you continue to do for the school to the family i have back here at school and those who are going to take up new roles in the studio keep working hard take your book seriously and most importantly when you come here on the sets i mean look at your sets it's so amazing now how we met it is different from how you guys are meeting it now Make good use of it. Seize the moment. Own the moment. Make every shot count. Hello, my name is Nyamadi Ruben Delali, a student of St. Brother Andre Senior High School and a final year student. Joining Branhai TV was fun and I had a lot of experiences. At least for the first time, had the opportunity to know a bit about the studio. But hmm, my first day here, that was entering the studio to see how the studio looked like. I was being sacked. And it was so, so sad. Because I had a lot of interest in camera and then the lights together with sound. And then I literally like sound. So I came to see how things look like, only for me to enter and I was being sacked by the owner of the office. So from there, I lost interest and I realized me losing interest won't help too. So, and I also have that desire for studio work. So I went back again, that was in form two. First term, or let's take a form and third term. And that was when I was being taught how to handle the camera and then thought a little more about sound. 
So now I remember the first day I handed the camera. I was being given a camera for me to just go and try my hands on it. And when I met I held the camera, I had the first insult because I didn't hold it well. <laughs> Moving on, I went out. You know, boys, when we have a phone or camera or anything, we want to take pictures of like the guys and then uh, how the pose and everything. So somebody's like, you boy, come and take me a picture and then you go to them. No, literally the boy says, Charlie, can't cut me, can't cut me. And then you go and then you take your picture. And after taking a picture, you look at it and you feel this picture is so nice. And you can use the picture for something very good. But only for you to bring it and then <sighs> how you get this? Nonsense, what is this? <laughs> okay, among everybody in the media says I'm who was mostly insulted. <laughs> I was almost mostly insulted and then I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what I had wrong or what I was always doing wrong. Until I was finding out that me handling the camera, I wasn't getting a good framing. I wasn't focusing well, I was getting noises in the pictures. And I remember my first time I also had a full time to handle a camera. That was when the school had their first um was it fashion night together with dinner night so it was both fashion and dinner where i had uh, let me know say i was that good with the camera but yes uh, at least uh, i can raise my shoulder that, yeah i was able to do something so that was me handing the camera and then to the assembly hall you're supposed to take scenes and make sure you don't lose a scene because each and every scene is very important in cinematography because of that, you don't get the opportunity to sit or relax like how your friends are doing where you sit and then you feel, okay, sitting, at least this scene is not necessary, this scene is not necessary. And then most people get it wrong. And then some people will surely criticize you that and this guy is like everything he wants to be doing, everything he wants to be taking. But it's not their work, it's your work. So you have to do it. But all the same, I really had fun. Um, especially, I really had fun with Raik with plenty of insults with the ship. That was like actually, it's a hashtag with the ship. Yeah. So it was like most of the boys got it, but I had the majority of the ship. So what they say, had fun being part of the media as both a sound guy and then a camera guy. Or a cinematographer. So my advice to those who want to enter into cinematography and they are looking at the challenges in it. Um, our advice you shouldn't look at only the negative side but also look at the positive side of it. Now in this world exactly it's like cinematography is the one ruling. I would advise each and everyone to learn it so that at least if no anything you want to do something for your family and do some as pleasure and as leisure and also for the same time as money. Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Ow. Ow. It's ow. Oh my God, it's ow. This is no pass, please, I beg. Okay, so from the top, hey guys, sub, sub, sub. So it's Elvina. Yeah, my name is Elvina. But come to think of it, my whole time presenting to you guys, I've not actually mentioned my full name. Yeah, you may have seen it, but I don't think y'all know the pronunciation. So I'm Elvina Songmeswir. Please call me Elvina. I've come to realize Ghanaians, you like to mention the name you can't pronounce. Please, I'm Elvina. So yeah, so I was the host of the Bright Corner, hashtag TBC, keep it short. Yeah, and it was quite an experience because I've never done something like that or like this before and I wasn't really comfortable with the environment. Kofi and I like we didn't get we didn't have that vibe and I'd never been to the studio and the person working the camera I'd never spoken to him. The first time I interacted with him he actually got me punished because I called him uncle. He made the armatron make me kneel down. So obviously with that type of interaction I wouldn't be like 
welcoming to him. But I was given the opportunity and you know, it was fun. I've, I got the opportunity to meet a lot of people, get this kind of experience and like everyone is applauding my work, you know. Your girl is good with what she does, you know. Can't, can't, you can't, you can't take that away from me, you know. You know, I'm good. <laughs> to all my haters, I'm good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, tension. You see, it's hot here. It's not easy, but like, it was fun. And I would like to actually thank Delali for recommending me for this position. So that's how it started. So Kofi came up with the idea of TBC and they're looking for a girl he could partner with and Delali recommended me and I came. And the first time I, I actually came, it was kind of weird because Kofi was talking about something. I didn't know what to say and all that, but like with time, with training, with rehearsal, oh my God, so much. Oh, one whole time. I thought like was actually going out, but no, sir, no. It was just rehearsal, but like it was great. It was great working with some people it wasn't easy, but like, you know, we overcame it and here we are. I'm just looking out to the future and hoping our successes do better. Cause you know, the with time things have upgraded and they are set, they have a beautiful set now and everything is going on for them. So I just hope they'll be able to continue the work we started. And I would like to thank Kofi for coming up with this idea and bringing me on board. So that's that with my, you know, yeah. So until next time, there's no next time actually, but let me just say, you know, I'm sad I'm leaving you. <laughs> until next time, bye, it's Elvina. Thank you so much. My name is Jennifer Iwo Ledima and I was the makeup artist for Brand High Production. Even though I'm a makeup artist, that's the profession. <laughs> So I was in the dormitory one Saturday when they ran, came to call me and then she was like, Jennifer, auntie is into beauty stuff as saying um, manicure, pedicure, um, makeup and other stuff. So she was like, I know you can do it. And then I was like, yeah, I'll try my best. So she brought me to the studio and then I, my first um host i had to make up was princess margarita edo for pink tunes so i tried my best and then it came out well i was successful then moving on uh, i made uh kofi and elvina up for their tbc show and it wasn't easy when i was doing that course Almost all the time, Kofi was sweating and I had to clean his sweat and then make him up again. It wasn't easy. Then later on, Brother David introduced me to a professional makeup artist called Auntie Sheila. So she tutored me for a day and then my project was to make this alone up. Then, well, I was successful as well. I was able to do it perfectly well for a one day tutor. Yeah, I did my best. Then I was I also made um, MC Nema up for her show today's youth. In my makeup set, it was only um, there was only foundation for fair and then dark people. So those with um, those who are chocolate in complexion. I had to mix or blend the two foundations in order to get their color. And it wasn't easy. And then I wasn't provided all the tools and equipment, but then I did my best to come out with, <laughs> with a, a, a nice, you know, yes. So I'm grateful to say, wow, and then all my team, They've made me who I am today. Thank you. Hi, so it's me, Michaela Botte, and I was the hostess of Catching Up with Kayla. So, okay, when I think back on my experience, it was really, I think I took inspiration from Frances after the campaign and decided to try it out for myself. So, honestly, 
if he had asked me when I first started out at this school if I was going to do something like this, I would have told you you were joking or something. Like, I would have looked at you and laughed. I didn't think I could do that. But over the years, I've built confidence and I feel like this is a really good experience for other people to try out. So, if you ever get an opportunity like this, don't ever back out of it. Um, I sat down and thought of doing Catching Up with Kayla when like I looked at my personal experiences and sometimes you have opinions but it's really hard to voice them out like sometimes you feel like you'd be the awkward one in the room and you say something wrong and then everyone's just quiet and everything but then opinions are important so I feel like there has to be a way you can let them out without anyone judging which is why I came up with Catching Up with Kayla and I'm really happy that like I can look back and feel like I actually did something like I'm proud of myself and I'm happy that it's going to continue even though it's not going to have the same name now it's catch-ups so I really hope the best for my successor and for all you guys out there just if you ever get an opportunity don't be afraid to take hold of it just go for it my name is Andreas Adungo and I was the cinematographer for Brand High Productions my journey here started in 2019 Back then, we had only two shows going. That was TBC or The Bright Corner and Pink Hills with TBC going first. And it was fun. I mean, getting to learn new things, meeting new people, especially the studio guy, Bright, was constantly beating us and yeah, forcing us to learn. Um, at the beginning, it was fun. and. That was that was okay until you know when you get more experience you get more work to do. So with the experience comes responsibilities and all of that. So I remember when I was tasked to sort of do the SRC week and it was stressful. It was very, very stressful because um I felt like I was walking too much just going around everywhere and at the end of the day before even the final day i was so tired and i remember bright always shouting that you are not done with your way so you know at the end of the program i was expecting some something small for my pocket unfortunately we leave that we leave that day but everything has been fun so far the experience has been good and it's something to write home about. Hi, my name is Benedict Elomkwashi and I was the sound engineer for Brand High Productions. This all started way in Form 1 when we came to the school. Uh, but David saw the lally and I and he was like, we had great potential, so he would like to work with us. So he brought us to the studio once and then he tried our talent and then he saw that we were good. So, he, should I say, employed us. Yes, and we're working for the studio for some time. But then we came across some challenges which were quite disturbing. Like, we had to sacrifice some of our preps to come and work in the studio. Sometimes you have to miss lunch just for, but all this for work, all this for the group. I am a type of person that I like sound a lot. Yes, I like anything that has to do with sound. And then, to, with my experience in the studio, it has really taught me a lot and it has brought me this far. Right now, as you are speaking, I know how to handle sound, I know how to create beats, and yeah, that's it. Hello, my name is Kofi Oche and I'm the former host of TBC, hashtag TBC, The Bright Corner, like TBC The Bright Corner, yes. What inspired me to come up with TBC? Well, if I think back, it's absolutely nothing. I remember that day very well. I was in the dorm eating soakings. Then my best friend Andreas was coming to the studio. I've never entered here before, you know, being a new student in Foreman and all. So I was like, okay, so you guys are coming here. At least let me just explore the school small. I came and I met Bright here, and then he was in charge of the place. And he was like, okay, fine, since I'm here, I should help them clean the place. So through cleaning, 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 I found myself on the table and chair, and I just started talking, just talking sound. Then Bright was like, there's some kind of hidden talent inside. And I was actually, actually blushing because if Bright has told you something like that, day, you know that there's something inside. So he was like, you get back to me. And I said, okay. 
Uh, fast forward, some days later, Brad David called me and he was like, okay, Brad has told him this, 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 and I should demonstrate. I wasn't expecting that, but since it was just all of a sudden, I had to whip up a thing or two and then present. When that happened, he said, okay, I've done very well, and then you'll get back to me. So we met at the studio again, and then um, we we're talking, and then they wanted someone to join me. And then my friend Delali recommended Elvina. And I was like, oh, Elvina, sure, why not? Then we called Elvina, and then through thick and thin, rehearsals upon rehearsals upon rehearsals, we rehearsed for one good term. One term, six weeks, two months. It's six weeks, one month, two two weeks, yes. So the challenges I had were the girls were too many, yes. Because with this one, hey, coffee, right corner, blah, yes, coffee, the right corner. Can I, can I, can I touch your hair? Can I get your seat? Hey, I'm assigning papers, baby. Hey, I'm assigning, I'm assigning, 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 assigning. Hey, I'm assigning papers, so I'm assigning. Hey, oh, God, oh, God, can I buy food for you? I want to buy a drink. Hey, will you feature me on the bread? Hey, those are good times, though. Those are good times. And, yes, they keep telling us that, oh, when you come and shoot, oh, you give you refreshment. Nothing give them. Nothing. Nothing. Not you so bolo. Hey. Yeah, train some calipo, so bolo biscuit. But apart from that, it was a very good experience. I, I never thought you'd see me on the bike corner doing what I do best. Yes, and it's it's nice. I got to meet new people, got to meet um, celeb, um inspiring people, people who were like don't mind what the haters always say because haters all they do is talk. Just keep forward, prioritize and keep moving. Balancing with education it was Okay at first, but as I moved on, then it got quite difficult, but I managed to handle it. And all in all, I think it's a very, very good experience for me. So that's what I have for you.